The Permanent Split Capacitor, or PSC, is one of the most popular motors used in heating and air conditioning. It has a variety of applications including gas furnace draft motors, condenser motors, indoor blower motors, and even compressors. The PSC is based on the polyphase electromagnetic induction motor patented in 1888. Now, which inventor patented this motor? Was it Thomas Edison, Benjamin Franklin, or Grant Emerson? It was actually electrical genius and Serbian madman Nikola Tesla who pretty much laid the groundwork for all of the electrical and electronic applications that we still use today. The PSC isn't much different from Tesla's original design. There's the part that rotates called a rotor and a part that stays stationary called a stator. There are two windings in the stator, the start winding and the run winding. Let's take a look at a PSC to see how these windings will look schematically. PSCs can be single speed, but we'll take a look at a multi-speed motor. We'll start by drawing the start winding and the run winding, labeling the terminals common, start, and run. The high speed winding is a black wire, followed by the medium speed, which is a blue wire. Low speed is a red wire. The start wire is almost always brown. Now the run wire can be white, yellow, or even purple, depending on the motor. Next, we'll take a look at a three speed indoor blower motor. Just like the diagram, we have the high speed wire, which is common to the run and start wires, and notice the run wire is purple on this motor. We also have a blue medium speed wire and a red low speed wire. We'll use these wires for troubleshooting the windings. Now, in the old days, technicians may have used nothing more than their eyes and ears to troubleshoot these motors. They were armed with a basic set of tools, and you could usually find them staring at units in frustration. but unless you can see through metal, this approach probably isn't the best. Instead, we'll use a multimeter and we'll set it to resistance to make sure the winding is electrically sound. We'll check the run winding first. One lead goes on the common wire and the other goes on the run wire. It shows 29.2 ohms, which is a good reading. We'll keep one lead on the common wire and check the start winding. It reads good at 26.2 ohms. The speed windings act as common to the run and start windings. To be thorough, we'll check the medium and low speeds as well. We'll place one lead on the blue wire, medium speed, and check the run wire. Notice the resistance is a little higher this time, 48.6 ohms. Next, we'll check the medium speed against the start wire, and it reads about 45 and a half ohms. Notice as the speed decreases, the resistance increases, as we'll see with the low speed wire. We'll connect the leads to the red wire, low speed, and the run wire, and we show about 69.3 ohms. Checking against the start wire, we show 66.3 ohms. This motor appears to be good electrically. We're going to look at one more winding check between run and start. Now we're going to measure the resistance of both of those windings in series, so it's going to equal the sum of our first two measurements that we took. We hook up to the start and run wires, and the reading is 55.4 ohms. Now we could just leave it at that, but we won't because we're good technicians, right? So the next check we're going to do, will just verify that none of the windings are touching the motor casing, and that's a condition known as grounding. At the very least, grounding can cause one of the windings to be energized all the time, which would create heat and waste electricity, or it could electrify the cabinet, and it may be the last thing you ever touch. You'll want to check each of the wires to either the motor casing or the metal housing or to the ground lug. You want to see a reading of open line indicating no continuity between the windings and ground. Okay, so remember, because this can be a bit confusing. Windings reading resistance, good. Windings reading open or shorted, bad. Unless, of course, you're reading the winding versus ground, in which case you'll want to read open line. Anything else? Not so good. If the motor checks out electrically but still doesn't rotate, you may want to check the bearings. Now most motors these days have sealed bearings and won't require any additional lubrication. You won't be able to look inside the motor like this, so just simply spin the fan to see if you notice any rough spots or seizing. If it doesn't spin freely, it's probably locked up and will need to be replaced. All right, in summary, the PSC is a dependable, popular motor used in heating and air conditioning. It can be used for many things, including compressors. If something goes wrong with the PSC, it's usually in the windings or the bearings. 
and it's very easy to check using a multimeter or just using your eyes and ears. Don't forget. Oh, what's that? Who invented this motor? Oh, right. If it wasn't for Tesla, we probably wouldn't have the PSC or heating and air conditioning as we know it. You are such a good boy. Creepy.